Okay, so have headlights seemed brighter to you in recent years? I think so, for I sure. I think so as well. It's not our imagination. <laughs> All right, we're not seeing things. Ten years ago, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety rated 82% of new car headlights as marginal or poor. Today, that number is 16%. 11 Alive's Doug Turnbull explains how brighter lights are making safer roads. So yeah, you've seen those brighter LED lights in newer model cars. I've got a lot of complaints about them myself, so that had me reach out and ask, should something be done? I spoke with Insurance Institute of Highway Safety Engineer Michael Brumbelow about these glare complaints, and he acknowledged them, but said their research recently has shown that brighter lights are actually making these roads safer. Police reported crashes in a bunch of different states, got over 6 million nighttime crashes. Um, in states where specifically the officers can code whether glare from headlights was a factor. Um, and so I found the rate was pretty low, it was one or two out of every thousand crashes at night. Um, and also that it wasn't really increasing over the past 10 years or so. So that's, we were trying to understand, you know, that increase in LED headlights and also vehicles that do well in our headlight evaluation. Has that led to an increase in glare related crashes? And we can't see that based on the data that we have. So low glare crash rates, and it hasn't risen over time, even with these brighter lights. But IIHS did note that glare's effect on a crash is hard to track because the vehicle with bright headlights is often not the one that actually crashes. Now, they did say in an October study that while glare-related crashes have not risen, low visibility crashes have largely decreased, meaning these newer LED lights are actually making the road safer in that sense. Brumblow also told me that adaptive driving beams are in use in other countries and even here in the U.S., but these systems actually use a camera to detect other vehicles in their view and selectively dim headlights pointed at them while leaving the other lamps bright. However, federal standards have not caught up to these, and he says that there is room to make them better. The way they wrote the rule made it very difficult to kind of put those headlights in the U.S., and so we still see only one or two vehicles that have even advertise that they have them. Um, and so we think the regulation is kind of clunky and outdated and really should be updated to allow technology like this. Yeah, the last small update he said was in February of 2022. Now, a reason that Brumbelo said that glare affects people is because their own headlights are not as bright. So drivers' eyes have not adjusted to those. Also, a lot of newer cars are bigger and higher up. So if you have a lower car, those lights can get right in your eyes. Something to think about as you're driving in dark.